Good morning. I'll tell you a story from Sweden. All right. First, yesterday I talked about what I will do in 10 years and I said I will be talking about the needle. And then a few people said this. Uh, you can't because there will be nobody left to talk to. And normally I suppose you would laugh at something like this. Right? But you can't laugh now, can you? It's not funny because it could be true. They could be gone, see, all these people. It's possible. Right. And who are the dangerous ones today? I think it is the obedient people. They are dangerous. I mean, you can listen to them, but if you believe in them, they will tell you to do what you are told, and this could kill you. you know? So, maybe earlier, we taught our kids what to watch out for. Right? And it should be these obedient people, these timid types, who tell you to follow the rules and do what everybody else is doing. That's dangerous. You know? And maybe we should teach our kids today to look for these warning signs. What are they? Well, I suppose you can see a t-shirt, maybe, you know, saying, I love Fauci or something, right? Or, I had the needle and I'm proud of it or something. Or a badge. <laughs> or it says, welcome refugees. No. That's actually a warning sign. And maybe you should look for these bad ass guys. Maybe the, the, the chance of getting good advice from these big guys with boots and scars. It's a, it's a better chance of getting good advice. Maybe. I'll tell you this story. It's about welcome refugees, actually. So, a uh, 26-year-old guy from Somalia, Abdi Rahman, that's his name. He came to Sweden in 2014 as a refugee. And then he got into crime and drug addiction. And the Swedish Migration Agency, they were investigating this guy. You know why? Because he requested social benefits so that he could travel to Somalia on holiday. So they were looking into this guy. And he was also in jail for something related to drugs. A few cases, I think. Uh, and then this happened. This was in August last year. This 14-year-old girl in Borlänge, up north, town up north. She was on her way home, walked through a park, and then this guy came, Abdi Rahman, from Somalia, pushed her to the ground and raped her. And he was caught, right? And in the interrogation with the police, he said, he thought he, she was fine with it, you know? being pushed to the ground, assaulted and raped. That's right. And he didn't understand that she was a minor. So he was sentenced to four years in prison and he will get out in three years, I think. And when he served his prison sentence, he's deported from the country, from Sweden. And he's not welcome back. Right. There's been a change here in Sweden with the new government. It's better with the new government that we have now. It's a bit tougher. I'm happy about this, of course. For young ladies, for instance. You know, maybe it's a little bit safer, maybe. You know. Well, this guy, if they just kick him out, send him home. You know. Well. That's good. Just do it. We should send a lot of these people home. Uh, anyone, anyone who cheated on their application or committed crime or whatever. 
Just kick them out of here. Well, we are far away from this, but that's what I would I would do it. You know, if I was in charge, I would send them home, all of them, and don't come back. All right, bigger.